What's up guys, we're going to talk today about the 1951 Bowman Mickey Mantle. It's his true rookie. As many of you know, we talk about it as being overlooked uh, because it's, it's really in the shadow uh, of the 1952 Topps Mickey Mantle, which is obviously the holy grail of holy grails for baseball cards. But this 51 Bowman is an amazing card. It's his first card and just extremely, extremely special. So a couple things to look out for if you're looking for a 51 Bowman Mantle or any 51 Bowman card for that matter. This 51 Bowman is notorious for having print lines and it's also a very difficult card to find centered well. So if you could find one with a good strong image that doesn't have uh, a lot of print lines on it um, and that's centered well, that's a very, regardless of the grade, that's a good copy. So it took me a while to find this specific card. Um, Another thing that uh, you have to look for is the backs of these uh, these 51 Bowmans. Now, I honestly don't mind because it uh, really, there's a lot of nostalgia to the gum stains uh, that you'll see on the backs of, the, of these cards. Um, but so to find one with a clean, clear back uh, is more difficult. They do have different staining that you'll see on the back of these, these 51 Bowmans. Um, that said, if you're looking for one and you can find one with a nice clear back, um, that kind of adds a uh, uh, just a, an extra touch to the to the quality. But this 51 Bowman is his first action shot, and then you go to 52 Bowman, 52 tops, and then 53 tops, and none of his cards were action shots; they were all portrait shots. So it makes this specific card stand out. Uh -huh. 